Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the CM10.1 ROM for your Oppo Find 5. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so I'm sure if you've ever rooted your phone or installed recovery, you know about Cyanogen Mod. It's a really popular ROM, and... A lot of other ROMs use its sources to make their ROMs, so this is really well known and you could definitely trust this ROM. You shouldn't have any problems there. So uh, first of all, let's go and enter settings and about phone. You can tell that it is version Android, Android version 4.2.2, uh, so if we uh, click on it, we have a little jelly bean right here, we could hold it. And move it around and if we scroll down you can see that it says cyanogen mod version uh, I am running a nightly right now uh, if we tap on that it does say cyanogen mod 10.1 you could also do that little thing there too so this is the latest nightly uh, I'm sure there might be a different update by the time you're watching this video but this is the one that I have right now so uh, it is is actually really stable even though it is a nightly uh, some people do have problems with nightlies but I haven't had any problems yet uh, before I was flashing the Aslam ROM which is also based off CM 10.1 I had a couple of little problems but this one seemed to fix all of them so uh, let's start off with the lock screen uh, if we hold the little circle right here you can see that we get a bunch of other shortcuts so before the shortcuts wouldn't work for me and now they do work as you can see I scrolled over to internet and it opened up for me uh, you should have unlimited widgets so if we go back here scroll over or actually you don't get unlimited widgets but you do get some extra ones and that's what CyanogenMod is used to uh, it's kind of stock Android it tries to make it, you have the most stock experience but they also add a little bit of tweaks that you could use and some speed so if we go on the lock screen you get your normal customization options for your lock screen nothing special or hard here uh, we do get our theme manager so you can install themes from the Play Store and customize our phone maybe change the way it looks a little bit more. Uh, then we get into system, which is going to be your basic stuff to change your signage mod features. We could go into status bar here, and we could control our battery status if we want it just a circle, circle with percentage, just a normal icon. Right now, I have it circle with percentage. You can also enable brightness control, which is actually a really cool feature. Basically, if you hold the status bar, you can make the screen brighter or darker. You can see what I'm doing right here. So the, I find that is a cool feature to use, especially if you quickly, maybe you wake up in the morning, you want to change your brightness. If we enter quick settings uh, control, we can allow quick pull down. So basically, if you swipe from here, it'll automatically open up quick uh, your quick toggles. I'm going to leave that off for now. If we go into tiles and layout, you can add more tiles. Uh, this is actually the one bug that I've noticed. When you first open this up, it takes a little time for this stuff to open and close. So that's just one little thing I noticed. It's not really a bug. It's just going to take some more time to set up your tiles. And you get some more options here to use. So if we go to notification drawer, you can enable power widget. If you're not familiar with that, that's from 4.1.2 Android where you get your traditional toggles over here. Um, of course that is customizable and you could add more widgets there. If we go down to power menu, here we could add more options to when we hold our power button. So as you can see I added stuff like screenshot, expanded desktop, and airplane mode and some quick toggles right here. Which are really useful if you quickly need to change some stuff. So we do get the C clock and it is customizable this is just a clock widget as you can see I have it right here and that's pretty easy to set up also when you're in your settings 
Also, the notification light is customizable and you could enable and disable the battery light and also change the colors of when it's low, charging or fully charged. And last but not least, you can actually enable custom actions to your uh, home buttons down there. So we could change the home key to anything we want here, the long press though. And same goes for the menu key, long press, and just the normal menu key. Sadly, you can't add a navigation bar here. CyanogenMod usually doesn't allow that feature, at least unless you're not on Nexus. So that's one little bummer. I guess it just takes up screen real estate, so it's not always that useful. So otherwise, guys, it's a really, really stable and fast ROM. It's definitely the fastest one that I flashed on my Apple Find 5 yet. Of course, you do get some of CyanogenMod's extra apps like the Apollo Music Player. If I could find it somewhere here. There it is at the top, Apollo. And any music you have installed, you could play it through there. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. You also do get DSP Manager if you want to increase the bass or change the music quality. So uh, yeah guys, that was just a quick overview of the CM10.1 ROM for your Oppo Find 5. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Also do make sure to subscribe for more ROM reviews for different devices. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching.